How about here? Hmm, possibly. I'm not sure about the light. I don't get it. Why paint a parrot? Because they're so beautiful. Just look at the vibrant colors. If you want to look at a bird, go outside. There's only a bazillion of them in the jungle. But that's not the point, Turk. The painting is about how I see the parrot. Uh, it's a way of remembering this thing of incredible beauty. Oh, what about here? Sure. Whoa, careful, P. I think you broke the treehouse. That wasn't me. said you could destroy my jungle. Marco, he told us to clear the timber. Hey, count me out of this. I, I don't want any trouble. Take me to this Markham. Call him. Mr. Markham, sir? Everything all right, Walter? I heard the engine switch off. Yeah, we uh had a little incident back there. Something I can help you with, mister? Take your machines and get out of my jungle. Your jungle? Does that mean you own it? The jungle belongs to no man. <laughs> well, you see, that's where you're wrong, friend. It belongs to me, Bob Markham. I got the papers here that grant me the timber rights to a thousand acres of this jungle. Technically, you're trespassing on my property, but I like being a good neighbor, so I won't have you arrested. Paper or not, this is my family's home, and I will protect it. Oh, my! Abigail, you are getting to be a big girl. <laughs> Who's this, Daddy? Well, honey, this is, um, Tarzan. You're just kind of funny, Mr. Tarzan. Look what I found. Ah, oh, it's very pretty, Abby. Mmm. Well, it smells good, too. Why don't you go inside the tent now, honey? Daddy's got some business he has to finish. Okay. Bye, Mr. Tarzan. Bye. You see, Tarzan, you're not the only one who has a family to protect. Good night, little duckling, said the moon. And the little duckling fell fast asleep. Ah, oh, that was my favorite story when I was your age. You're nice. Why, thank you, Abby. I think you're nice, too. You don't look like Tarzan. You look like a normal person. <laughs> well, that's because I come from England. Tarzan, on the other hand, was raised by gorillas here in the jungle. 
Seems like only yesterday Abby's mother was reading to her like that. Been over three years since she passed. Abby's all I have in the world now. That's why I came to Africa, to give her the best life I could. By destroying the jungle? People need lumber, Tarzan. Well, this very house is built of wood. And quite a bit of it, too. My concern, Mr. Markham, is not with the harvesting of lumber per se, but in the way you are harvesting it. The jungle is an ancient and delicate ecosystem. Uh, tampering with it could be disastrous. Listen, I've sunk every penny I have into this logging enterprise. I'm not going belly up over some posy that might get squashed. See my flower? Yes, it's very beautiful. It's starting to get a little wilty, though. Well, I know how you can keep it looking pretty forever. Really? Here, put the flower carefully inside this book. Now gently close the cover. Like this? Yes. Then in a week or so, it will be perfectly preserved. Come on. Can't we come to some sort of compromise? Compromise? Yeah. Is there anywhere I could log which would be acceptable to you? Well, I would think the further away from the gorillas, the better. <sighs> All right. You can log on the south side of the river. Far from here. Great. See? I knew we could work something out. You did what? Why didn't you just send that log up packing? It was a compromise. Now everyone is happy. I don't know about this whole compromise thing, you know? I mean, you're going soft in your old age, buddy. I mean, when was the last time you used this, huh? <laughs> I've been looking all over for that. Excellent for weeding the garden, you know. Yeah, you see? This right here is compelling evidence for my case. Relax, Turk. Markham and I have an agreement. Perhaps you should have gotten it in writing? Ain't my fault. The, the, the boss gave the okay to lock in this part of the jungle. We were just following his orders. Markham, Abby, why don't you go brush your teeth and get ready for bed? But I already brushed them. Well, brush them again, sweetie. I have to talk to Mr. Tarzan. Oh yes, Daddy. I know why you're here. Bye. We had an agreement. You broke it. That land is all bogged. They'd sink in the muck. But the gorillas. Look, I tried it your way, but it didn't work out. So I'm doing what I have to do for my family. For Abby. Then I will do what I have to for my family. Tarzan, I remember. I only see two of the bulldozers. We're not gonna hurt anybody, are we? No, we're just going to stop those machines from doing any more damage. You mean us against those big, scary, loud, metallic things? I don't know. Gentle? How do you expect Tarzan to keep up his action hero image when one of his very own sidekicks can't even... Shh! Do you hear that? Hey, what's going on? It's over there! Look out! Something's wrong. Gee, you think? That maniac tried to run us over. I mean, doesn't that seem a bit drastic? A bit. No, something's wrong with the driver. I said he tried to run us over. Weren't you listening? Anybody care to explain what all the wreck? Ah! Please, 
Don't hurt me. to stay on the job. Nah, nah, don't worry, Walter. I think we can manage without you for a day or two. His breathing's irregular. And I've never seen a rash quite like this. Yeah, I'm sure it's just a 24-hour flu. Nevertheless, I'll take a sample for study. Well, it's just about the darndest thing. Walter's usually as healthy as a horse. I do have a theory about what's causing his illness. Oh? Yeah, what's that? You! Me? Yes, you! You and all your confounded machines that have been tearing up the jungle! You've obviously released some long dormant virus or bacteria. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. You're just trying to scare me off this land. Well, it won't work. Now get out of my camp. You heard me. Get out of here. And don't come back. You know, I can't help but notice that we still have the logger problem. A minus one bulldozer. Minus one bulldozer. Now, if you ask me... I didn't ask you. Yeah, and that's a recurring problem, I've noticed. Anywho, I think our problem was this whole covert ops business. But I felt so stealthy. Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm? Oh, think nothing of it, Tantor. Oh, fascinating. See, what we need to do is hit them head on, full force, head to head, toe to toe. I'm afraid that won't be necessary, Turk. This virus will take care of Markham and his men soon enough. Daddy? It's what I try to explain to Mr. Markham. Tampering with the jungle's ecosystem is dangerous. You see, jungle soil is home to thousands of ancient microbes. You know, germs, bacteria, and whatnot. Oh, I know just that type. Shh. Well, I do. When Markham tore through here all willy-nilly, he unearthed hundreds of microorganisms. And at least one of them is deadly. Quite deadly indeed. We must warn Markham and his men. You already have, Tarzan. I just want to listen. <laughs> the virus hit them hard and fast. Daddy. So what do you think, Professor? These men are very ill. Without a cure, they will most certainly die. Well, we'll just have to find a cure. Daddy. Not now, Abby. Easier said than done, Mr. Markham. <sighs> I don't feel very good. Shh, sweetie. Daddy will take care of you. I know you have nothing to gain in helping me. We will help you. You're a good man, Tarzan. Professor. I shan't rest until I've found a cure. Oh, you're not serious. You're not really gonna help that Markham guy. His men are sick. Yeah? And what's gonna happen if you cure them? You think Markham is just gonna say, Oh, thank you, Tarzan, and walk out of here? I, I don't think so. He'll go right back to bulldoze in the jungle. Maybe. We can't control what Markham does. We can only do what's right. Markham and his men will die if we don't help them. Hey, I don't mean to sound cold or nothing, but that's their problem! In what way is that not cold? You've just gone soft, that's all. I remember when the title, Lord of the Jungle, carried some real weight behind it. Turk. I mean, whatever happened to good old-fashioned poetic jungle justice, huh? Bad guys come here looking for trouble and get what's coming to them. Turk, what about Abby? Abby? Markham's little girl. You mean the really cute little one with the big eyes and the sweet smile? What about her? She's also very sick. Oh, what'd you have to go and bring her up for? Come on, let's get to work. And then the princess plucked the flower's petals off one by one and threw them into the river. While she chanted, he loves me, he loves me not. He loves me. Oh. Easy, Abby. Now try to rest. Jane, am I going to feel better? Well, I certainly think so. My father's promised to find a remedy and he's never let me down. Daddy's never let me down either. Well then, I think we should both be quite fine. Now, doctor's orders. Get some rest. Yes, ma'am. Don't let us down, Daddy. A cure 
is conceivable, but I must have these ingredients. I'll find them. Wait. I know this jungle better. Tarzan, my daughter's life is on the line. Then we go together. Just two. Great. What's next? The sap of a Duramba tree. That'll be a breeze. No, it won't. Why do you say that? Mm. The Duramba tree belongs to Buto. Hey, yeah. You get the sap. I'll deal with Buto. I'd say I got the better end of that bargain. Pulled his tail. This is the last one? Yes, the flowers are just over this hill. Or at least they used to be. This is the only place where you can find the flowers? It was. Oh, what have I done? You wanted to do the right thing for your daughter. You just made a mistake. Yeah, big mistake. Uh, glowing lichen, yes. Borgweed, excellent. Deromba tree sap, and... Uh, what about the... Daddy. Hello, Angel. How are you feeling? Not very good. <coughs> Can you read me a story? Sure, darling, sure. Once upon a time in a kingdom far away. What's this? Where'd you get this flower? In the jungle, remember? Why, uh, why, this is the very flower we need! I'll have a cure whipped together in no time! What's everybody so happy about, Daddy? Everything. Next? Brace yourselves! Yo! Next? Uh, I tell you, Mr. Markham, I feel like a million bucks. Glad to hear it, Walter. Glad to hear it. I'm telling you, Markham and his men are going right back to log in the jungle, just like I said they would. Relax, Turk. Hey, this is what you get for being all Mr. Nice Guy and doing the right thing. Uh, hey! You need a makeover, buddy. Time to shed the softer, gentler image and go for the dark, brooding, vengeful Lord of the Jungle thing. Turk. Make sure you get that area. Don't miss a spot. Come on, people, you're on the clock here. What kind of login is this? 
Yes. They're not logging. They're planting. Here you go. Plant them about a quarter of an inch deep. Irrigation, anyone? There. In a few months, this field will be blooming with those pretty flowers again. What do you think about that, Abby? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it? I'm not it. I'll have you know I haven't been it since I was ten years old. I can't thank you enough, Tarzan. What will you do now? I don't know. It'll be something a little less destructive, that's for sure. I hate to think what might have been lost forever because of me. At least, it wasn't your daughter. <laughs> Let's join TJ and the gang next as they take a break in recess on Disney Cinemagic.